Welcome everybody back to the AFC here in Xi'an, China on TV, watching across the world. Matthew Pilias with Josh Warner. Two fights down, our third fight of the evening. Just about to start, let's go to John Dimicoli, center of the cage. It is Glenn Spark from Finland taking on Japan's Yuri Sasao. Ladies and gentlemen, bout number three of AFC Asia. Fighting out of the red corner, representing Japan, Yuki Sasaki. Yuki Sasaki walking out to a bit of a wherever he may roam from Metallica. Fantastic entrance song. You might not know a lot about Yuki Sasaki, considered to be an absolute Japanese martial arts legend. Over 40 mixed martial arts fights, yep. submissions, knockouts. He's a legitimate poster boy for Japanese martial arts. You know what, this is going to be a, a very interesting fight. Josh, you were at the Wayne's yesterday, I only flew in this morning. Tell us what happened last night. Yeah, look, Glenn Spav, uh, I think, is a fantastic martial artist and, and a committed and dedicated guy to the sport. He did have some problems in his weight cut. He did miss weight yesterday. He missed it quite considerably, actually. Yuki Sasaki is elected to take this fight, but it, it needs to be noted that, that Glenn Spav did have a couple of weight issues and he did not make the, uh, the middleweight limit yesterday. And Yuki must be very excited to fight here on the first ever AFC card in China as he comes into the cage. And what a brand new cage. We got to walk through it before the night. Fantastic feeling, isn't it, the AFC cage here in China? Oh, it is. And to have a guy like Yuki stuck in the middle is fantastic. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, Glenn, the teddy bear, Spa. Teddy Bear, Glenn Spav, on his way to the cage, looks mean. There's no other word I can find than mean. I actually spoke to him a few days ago, said, Glenn, where did Teddy Bear come from? Apparently, while training over there in Thailand, uh, someone came into the gym asking for Glenn, didn't know what his name was, said, the guy that looks like a Teddy Bear, and it's stuck ever since then. And have a look at him, he's got a presence about him. Strong, mean, and, and Spav is here. Serious business, the Teddy Bear. Yeah, talk about a well-rounded fighter. Glenn Spav is good anywhere the fight can go. His stand-up is legitimate. His wrestling is fantastic. His ground and pound is sensational. Trains with guys like Taleb Nordine from the UFC, with Jason Radcliffe from Bellator. Purple belt in jiu-jitsu, so he's absolutely no punk on the ground at all. Sport Muay Thai, he's had KO victories, knees, punches. Last time out in November, stopped a very game, James Chaney by TKO, he's ready to go. He wants to make an impact, and I've got it on good authority, even though he didn't necessarily make weight in this fight, he wants a crack at AFC middleweight champion Rob Wilkinson if he gets through Yuki Sasaki tonight. Well, there's athletes and there's fighters, and this man is a fighter, make no mistake. A mean, mean character. He's here to upset the Japanese here in China tonight. and gentlemen, welcome to bout number three of the evening. Three by five minute rounds in the AFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, standing six feet tall. Official weight, 82.6 kilograms. A fight record of 25 wins, 20 losses with two draws. Fighting out of Pain Christ Krabako in Tokyo, Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, Yuki Sasaki. And across the cage, his opponent. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a wrestler, standing six feet tall. Official weight, 89.05 kilograms. 13 wins, four losses. Fighting out of Tiger Muay Thai, representing Finland. He's the Chaos Bragging Rights Champion, the Cage MMA Champion in Finland, and the Reign in Power Champion in China. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn, the Teddy Bear, Spa! Josh Warner, I am very, very excited about this one. It's going to be an absolute beauty. 84 kilogram division as both fighters go to our referee. And uh, you know, a big, big test for the veteran Japanese fighter, uh, Yuldi uh, Sasaki. He's going to have to use all of his years of experience too because Glenn's going to come in here, he's going to throw immediate punches, look for the takedown and try and pound him out. So Yuki's got to stay away, keep his distance, land some of those leg kicks, land a few jabs. Don't get too close to Spav because if he gets the fight to the ground, given the additional weight, it's going to be very, very hard for Yuki to buck Spav off.
First round of three, Matthew Pilios with Josh Warner, the Australian Fighting Championships. Here we go again. Look at the size difference early on. I know Glenn missed. Oh, big shot. Glenn, take down early on, though. Got to use all his experience. Back control, big... Oh, wait, he's got to move. Clinion's looking at it very, very close. They're big left hands. He's got to explode, Josh. This one's over. Oh, 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 oh towel's got thrown over. in. Unbelievable. Yuki Sasaki's corner has thrown the towel in. What, 20-odd seconds into round one. Glenn Sparv has just stopped it. the most experienced fighter he's ever fought. Wow. Unbelievable. Cannot believe it. Even Glenn Sparv is uh, absolutely in shock. Crowd's in shock. Jamie Abdallah, the AFC Light heavyweight champion, can't get in shock. Ryan Mills, Kelly C, Peter Davenport, all in the corner of Glenn Sparv. Oh, that is a fast, fantastic victory for a very dangerous fighter in Glenn Sparv. Why didn't Yuki Sasaki explode out of that, Josh? He couldn't. I mean, Sparv is just too big. I mean, I mean, look at the size of him here now. He got really good side control position. As soon as Yuki turtled, Glenn knew that he would raise his body position, get good posture, and throw some of those big right hands down. Greg Clinton did a fantastic job. We don't want to see a fight in that quickly ever. However, serious danger for Yuki Sasaki had he ate any more of those. And there's the teddy bear right there. Yuki Sasaki looks in good nick. He's up on his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, 33 seconds into the very first round. Your referee, Greg Clinton, put a stop to this contest. Declaring winner by TKO, via ground and pound, blue corner, Glenn, the teddy bear. Matt Pilios, Senna Cage, will talk to Glenn Sparv. Okay, all the way from Finland, big round of applause to Glenn Park, and uh, congratulations. Big round of applause all the way from Finland. The oh. 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 You're a very experienced fighter. You've fought across many cards across the world. How was it coming to China and was this your first time? This is a very experienced fighter. Today is his first time coming to China. We have so much fun to play in the show. We have so much fun to play in the show. We have so much fun to play in the show. We have so much fun to play in the show. 哇，真的非常的棒。那么现在我们要问一下，今天他对这一场比赛的赢得胜利有一个什么样的感受？来给大家说一下。I just want to say thank you China and thank you AFC putting on this show and having me. Thank you China. Let's have a great night. 谢谢中国。Let's keep this party going. 哇，今天真的是一个非常棒的夜晚，大家都非常的开心。感谢中国，感谢中国的每一个人。And what's your thoughts of China? Would you like to come back and fight again? 那我们也是要问一下这位选手，今天来到我们中国西安，对中国有一个什么样的印象呢 ？I love, I love this place. I love coming here to China. China. The people are amazing. They treat you good. They treat you with respect. I, I would have to come back here again. Thank you.